All right, what is going on, guys? So today's video, we're gonna be doing some high-level dungeon gameplay. So me and Yeet did a run a little while ago. <clears throat> we weren't streaming or anything. I was just screen recording while I was doing it. I was just sitting in bed. Um, so yeah, we got a couple fights. We're gonna start out in room nine. Some high-level fights to start with. So uh, we're gonna start with this first mini boss here. I'm on the skill side. Yeet's got his Morning Star and his Magic on the uh, Cosmic side. I brought Namor, Omega, and Corvus here. And so there's four nodes on each fight now, and I didn't quite read what all was on this fight, but I start with all these debuffs, and there's also Invade. So pretty much the plan is to just hit his block. Just hit his block as much as possible with Corvus. If, uh, if I didn't get Fate Sealed at the start, I would have had my two charges, and these blocked hits would be like 18k, 15k on the mediums. Like, it'd be doing a lot more. That's a 10k crit through the block without any charges which is ridiculous but uh corvus is just so good for the invade node that's why i opted uh for this combination of nodes and as you can see it's working out pretty good i'm not getting touched i took a little bit of damage just from all those debuffs and my suicide masteries at the start it's a little annoying but whatever uh, i think this node would also has unblockable finale uh once we yeah there you go so he's unblockable now but that doesn't matter we haven't taken a blocked hit or a hit this whole fight yet so i'm not going to start now uh so it doesn't really matter just uh, keep trying to get those blocked hits on him and the fight's going great dude i go for an l1 to finish it off here and it doesn't quite kill him so i take recoil damage that's real fun uh but yeah that was my mini boss for this room now let's move on to room number 10. all right guys so we're into room 10 i'm taking a look at the nodes here I see counter tactics heavy assault empathic lock but i see invade so I'm like, all right, uh, and there's Coward on the other one. So I'm like, you know what? We got to take the invade again. We'll do the same thing with Corvus. This time I'll have 30 charges uh, because I use an Avenger. He's Black Panther, so that'll be nice. That's the plan. Uh, I healed up my Namor on the boss in the last room, so he's all topped off as well. So we're looking, we're looking pretty good for room 10 on my champs. So I'm feeling pretty good. So we got a, a skill champ up first here. I think I'm going to go for Omega Red. And pretty much you're just hoping that it's not a blade. Anything but a blade is okay. And it turns out to be a Thor Ragnarok. Which is kind of annoying. When you think about the other skill champs in here. Like Daredevil. That's who um, I'd like to fight every time. I actually got the evade charge on Daredevil with Corvus. Which was pretty slick. Uh, I just threw my L1 into his block. Hoping he would evade it, and he did. It was the Netflix one too. It was, it was a slick move. So that's how I got uh, the evade charge on this run. But yeah, Thorian Rock, kind of annoying. Just gonna be on top of baiting out these specials. I don't really want to throw my specials because I have recoil on. I just want to keep applying my degens with the heavy and just let that do its thing. And aside from that, I'm just gonna keep on baiting out these specials, man. Uh, but he just doesn't want to throw it. But that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go to my L3. I pushed him to his L3, but. As soon as he gets out of it, he should start getting his power drained and his health drained. And we're going to power steal and health steal. So, should be okay. As long as he doesn't throw the L3 like immediately. That's happened to me sometimes, which is really dumb. I don't know if it's a bug or not. But as you see right here, it worked out perfectly. And we're looking good. Topped up our health a little bit. And uh, yeah, feeling really, really great, man. It's I've been really liking uh, Omega Red more and more as of recently. You know, before I kind of put Namor above him. But thinking about it now, I think I think Omega Red just slightly above Namor. But I do think they're very close. They're very, very even. Very, very close, dude. They're, they're both so good. They both do so much. But Namor's got the edge and the prestige, which at the end of the day is kind of more important. Uh, but I'm going to go for another L3 here. Try to top up some more life. Power steal a little bit. I think he's going to have his power. I, I wasn't sure if he was going to have his power gain or not. Because my next hit triggers it. But my next hit's during the special. So I... It's kind of myth busting just trying to see and it, it doesn't stop it he still gets the power gain so that's a that's great it's kind of weird how l3s don't work that way like for example on the um the prove yourself node i got to 15 hits during a special three and my whole special three did no damage like what that's just kind of silly all right but next up here we have uh, a black panther so we're gonna jump in uh he was asking for his blade. He's just taking a little while. But, you know, we were over some L3s trying to heal up. So that was why it took a little while. 
But all right, so Black Panther, so dash vulnerability is on here. That's super nice. So dash vulnerability paired with the invade is going to be really good. But again, with the empathic lock, we start with the fate seal. So we're going to have no charges again, which is annoying. But it's all good. I would really like to get off a heavy attack of my own because there's heavy assault. If I did a heavy attack, dude, it would hit so hard with dash vulnerability, heavy assault. Oh my god, dude. That would hit so hard. Probably hit for like 100k if I did a heavy attack. But I don't want to parry because he's going to... He has invade too, so it's going to do a ton of damage to me. Maybe I should just went forward just to kind of see. But I'm just going to try to play it safe. Just uh, keep my distance on these L1s, bait them out. Give myself enough space to play around with. Uh, and I'm doing some basic, I'm doing some actual attacks into his combo, because that, with dash vulnerability, they're hitting okay. As you can see through the block, now we're hitting like 13k on medium. Dash vulnerability paired with uh, invade is a real nice combo there. 14k crit through the block right there. Oh my goodness, dude, that's great. Um, and yeah, so far so good. He's down to 7% health. One more combo into his block, and he should be dead. Uh, but he throws a heavy attack, so I'm like, alright, I'll just go for it. And one combo is enough to do it. Didn't even need to throw the special one as a precaution there. So now I'm looking good, right? I'm looking real good. Uh, Yeet's looking pretty good. But the problem is that his fight, he has a really dumb... This, this combination of nodes ruined our run. It's Aspect of Nightmare, which makes you degen 50% health. And it's paired with uh, Empathic Lock which was seemed to be on every fight, which you start with a heal block, a fate seal, that sort of thing. So uh, let's get forward a little bit here. Yeet uh, is unable to take it because he, I think he timed out actually. And uh, yeah, he doesn't have enough health to go back in. So I have to, uh, to fight the boss here, linked. So uh, yeah, I said I can sacrifice Namor. So we jump in here. My plan is to use Namor. I'm Namor, if you play perfectly, I think he could he could get this right if, if I play it absolutely perfectly. So that's what we're gonna try to do. I really need to be on top of bait and specials and just play super duper aggressive because I'm degening every second. Like I think it's like one percent of my health, so I need to stay aggressive to reflect that degen and uh, not take any damage myself. So I'm gonna go for some intercepts here. So far, it's going pretty good. I really, the only problem is him throwing specials. If he can throw those specials for me, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. But if he doesn't want to throw them, that's not good. Right here, I just, I don't know what happened there. I just didn't let go of block. Ah, I just lost, like, all my health there. That was terrible, man. If I didn't take that LT to the, to the blocked face, uh, I would have been in a really good spot. But that did, like, 15k damage. So I get off my L3 now, does a decent amount of damage. How much was that? 13k, that's not even that good. But again, he has so much power right now, I need him to throw this special, and uh, he finally throws it and when I'm hitting into his block, and I die. Like, bruh. All right, that's how it's gonna be. Um, all right, it's not over. All hope is not lost yet. I still have Corvus, so I'm gonna jump in here with Corvus. And uh, Corvus can do this. I can I can finish this fight with Corvus. If I play perfectly again, I'll just be at 1%. I'll just be chilling at 1%. I can't die to the degen, so I'll be good. Uh, so at this point, no more blocked hits. Got to play perfect. Got to bait up these specials and intercept. That's the only way to get my ends here. So uh, right here, oh, I actually do go for a parry. That, if, if you parry uh, and it would kill you, but you have charges, it only takes up two charges, which is not as bad as four. Uh, so yeah, throwing L2 here, boom, hits super hard, and I actually have a cosmic boost on, so we get back a bar of power, so that's nice. Uh, I'm going to bait out another L1 here, there we go. I'm going to throw my L1, uh, recoil doesn't matter, and I pause at that point, point. I'm like, am I going to need to time this out, uh, just in case, but uh, I'm looking, I'm like, no, I can just hit into his block, I should be able to finish this fight without having to time out, and uh, boom, there we go. We took a boss linked in room 10. It took, Name, it took Namor and Corvus, but hey, we did it. So Yeet still has some champs. I still got Omega. So we're going to keep going. Uh, we're going to keep going. So we hit up room 11, man. Uh, I guess I could have just timed out with Corvus. That's what I realized 
midway through the fight. I could have completely saved Namor and just did the timeout thing with, with Corvus because uh, we had enough time to do it, but I just didn't think about it. So I'm looking at these nodes, and yeah, he's asking for no empathic lock and aspect of nightmare, uh, but I have to take it on myself. It's that or encroaching stun, and uh, I really don't want encroaching stun because... I, I just don't think I'm going to be able to, to do it, right, on this Agent Venom. So I have to take Aspect of Nightmares, and my plan was to just use Omega Red for it, right? So that was the plan. I see Encroaching Stun here. I'm like, yeah, no way, dude. I don't want that. So I tell him to take down one, and uh, we go for our fight here. So this is room number 11. Just taking a look at each node, seeing what he might want. Um, tells me to go for three. So we can go take down three. And... Of course, on room 11, guess who we get? Guess who this is? Take a wild guess. What do you know? It's Blade. So great. So you want to know why Blade sucks? Watch this fight. It's ridiculous, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. I haven't gotten a single Blade in this dungeon yet. But then, of course, on room 11, on the, the one room, I really just I don't have the health pool for a Blade. I get a blade. My Omega was at a really good health pool at the start of this fight, but so the, the one of the main problems here with uh, Omega, if I had Namor here, it would have been a lot better. One of the main problems with Omega Red here is my degen from the heavy attack. When Blade has even like a bar of power, look how quickly uh, the degen's falling off. Because the more power Blade has, the quicker he shrugs off debuffs. So that degen is just not lasting long at all. So I'm like, you know what? Screw keeping my spores up. I'm I, I'm just gonna have to go for my regular damage, which my regular attack damage. That's what I'm gonna have to do to, to kill this blade. So that's what I'm gonna go for. And he keeps throwing his L1s, and those L1s give him so much space that all my spores fall off. I can't stay close enough. It just it really sucks, dude. Uh, if he wants to regen though, that's fine. Cause my degen that damage does more damage does more damage than his healing heals for so that's fine but i'm gonna go ahead and throw my l1 here or uh, sorry my l3 to take off the spores because my spores aren't gonna last long anyway so might as well uh get some healing off of them right but as you can see we're halfway through this fight and we're both uh halfway through our health bars and i just healed so neither of us i mean he's looking good i'm not looking good uh time's running out and i just this fight sucks dude blade really sucks like just look at the block damage even on a parry let's see a parry right here boom 1200 damage 1200 damage man really that's so much damage for a parry a blocked hit boom 3000 damage oh man it's rough it is rough out here but there you go as you can see we did some more blocked hits on him but then he did some blocked hits to us he's repaying the favor i'm at 18 percent. he's at 14 percent. it's just it's just a race to see who dies first man i just Stupid blades, stupid blades. Namor would have been so much better for this fight. But even if I had Namor, it's a uh, it's an unknown node going in. You don't know who the fight's gonna be. So maybe I would have brought Omega. Uh, but yeah, 30 seconds left. Hit a nice little intercept there. Save a little bit of block damage. And yeah, he's two percent health. I'm gonna try to go for my L1 to get some healing. But the last combo kills him. 103 hits. Got hit zero times. Look at my health. And remember what node we had. Uh, <laughs> I can't type. Uh, remember what nodes we had on the next boss. It's Aspect of Nightmare. So we're going to degen 50% of our health. So uh, Namor is out of the or Sorry, not Namor. Omega Red is now out of the question because he's not at 50% health. So I'm like, all right, I guess I got to use Corvus. Corvus has 1% health. Now... Uh, this is theoretically possible with Corvus, but <laughs> if he throws an L1, you're done. Unless you can completely evade it, you're done. Because uh, it's gonna deal, each hit is gonna take away four of your, your charges. So I have to push him to an L2. I can't let him throw an L1, so I go for a nice intercept here, push him to that L2. But this node has power reserve, <laughs> so he's right back at an L1. So I'm just like, well, well, what what do I do? What do I do here? This is this is just silly. This is just silly. Um, trying to get another intercept to push him to another L2. 
Uh, I get an opening there, push into another L2. But I have two charges left. I have two charges, and as soon as I use those up, I'm dead. Because uh, the poison from uh, suicides is just going to kill me. So I pause the fight, and I'm like, well, I guess I time out. Uh, like, I, I, What else am I supposed to do? But we only threw off 20% health, and uh, I, 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 I go back in, essentially, and I die. I didn't have enough time to time this out enough times. It's just this co node combination is absolutely just silly. It's so silly. Aspect of nightmare, and basically a heal block. So, real fun, forcing you to heal up, use potions. But that's gonna do it, guys, for this uh, some high level dungeon gameplay. This was the final room we made it to. I couldn't take down this boss, so uh, and you had to fight the, the main boss link, but he just uh, he didn't have the right chance for it. He didn't have a Corvus or an Amor to do it. So yeah, we uh, got stopped in room eleven. It's so crazy now to push in these dungeons because there's like four nodes on these champs. It's, it's the combinations you can get. It's just two bad options, and you gotta pick one. It gets ridiculous. But, I don't know. We're still going to try to break that record. Uh, let me know if next time you guys want to see it streamed. Uh, yeah, let me know if you guys prefer that or if you prefer this. Kind of just like some highlights of some of the high-level fights. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoy. Subscribe if you like some more content. I'm going to leave a link to Yeet's channel in the description below. Yeet is an OG, and hopefully he's going to start making some more videos soon. Uh, he's been doing a little bit here. I think he just did a live stream uh, for... I think it was something Act 6 related. But yeah, hopefully he's coming back in 2020. That's going to do it though, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.